Okay, great. Um, so uh, this is actually a uh, thing that evolved from the first 2020 meetings. Uh, we had uh, discussions about libraries uh, somewhere in uh, uh, March or February. And then uh, a couple of guys, uh, especially Willem Overkerk and Martin Bitter, um, I thought, yeah, maybe we can do something to better share our ideas and uh, to exchange uh, programs. And, um, and so after a couple of while, um, they asked um, Thomas Goeppels and myself to join this. And uh, later on, Jeroen uh, has, uh, 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 has uh, joined us and Albert Niehoff is with us discussing and um, uh, we thought about the name, had a, a working name in between. Uh, and now the project is called the Project Forceworks um, uh, after lots of discussions that we do. And the key idea is um, uh, that we really want to work along with the other forces uh, to uh, yeah, improve uh, our, our techniques, uh, to um, yeah, learn from each other, and uh, uh, we, we try to uh, unify uh, programming in force uh, for a very long time. And actually, uh, it turns out, well, this catches on only in a certain area. So, and there's this force saying, uh, if you know one fourth, you know one fourth. Uh, last month, we had the discussion and said, okay, yeah, force is probably a personal language. Everyone can easily tweak it to its own needs, and um, that's um, uh, yeah, that, that's an issue. And we say, okay, no, let's do it in another way. Then, uh, the, how can we work together in another way? Let's embrace the difference, and um, uh, then the project Force Works actually evolved from that. So, uh, what is the project about? I want to talk. Uh, uh, what is our aim? Uh, what do we want to achieve? You got a little idea of what it is already. Then the project has already a web page, and it's uh, intended to be a collaboration project where uh, people join us and uh, also uh, contribute. And uh, we will see how this works. Uh, um, so I will show a little bit of the project pages and describing uh, uh, what uh, we intend. Uh, and uh, the main term that we use uh, is uh, uh, it is idea so what we want to describe on in the project is ideas uh, say um, how is a certain communication protocol working or how do you do jpeg encoding and not so much uh, the implementation because if you know one force you know one force but um, more getting into the idea so that people can understand this giving some general implementation, of course, but then uh, also open up for all the many different uh, implementations that might arise. And how a, uh, an idea is best described, we made lots of discussions on, uh, on what we think is appropriate. Uh, I will talk about that. And then we have a bunch of ideas already described this way, and uh, I will just give you a short glimpse uh, of uh, what, you, uh, what you can see already. And then, uh, of course, we want to have many, many, many fo more fourth uh, uh, ideas described and um, ask you to contribute uh, uh, with, um, uh, with your ideas. And uh, we will talk about how to do that. That concludes uh, then uh, my talk. So let's see. Um, the idea is uh, we have a great knowledge uh, within the fourth community and uh, uh, Everyone is very uh, talented and uh, knows in specific areas much more than all the others. So we really want to uh, gather all this uh, knowledge and uh, the, uh, spread the ideas. And if you have certain implementation algorithms, then explain people how to do that. Uh, we want to do this with communication protocols, but also simple applications. I mean, one of my favorite is the Tetris for terminals. Uh, application uh, that's uh, always in my pocket. So uh, if I have some spare time and a force system, I can go ahead and um, have a good play. Um, also hardware drivers or what have you, uh, development tools, uh, 
and uh, uh, the approach that we have is first describe the idea uh, and tell the people what is important about it, what is the trick behind it, and uh, how things are connected. Um, then give an algorithm in pseudocode, uh, which might still be usable for a C programmer or a JavaScript programmer. Um, and then uh, in the next step, use a dialect which we call generic force. It's not a programming language for actually having a force system, but it's uh, what we think is a colloquially known force, uh, common force, like bounce, for example. Everyone knows about that. Uh, uh, and uh, generic force is a very simple force, very straightforward, so that if you write a program in that, uh, people can easily understand what's going on. And also your example should express the idea in an algorithmic way and not so be too clever to uh, make it not understandable. And then, of course, an idea has lots of background information. And so uh, it's very nice for you to collect the information um, to describe uh, what uh, things can go wrong and so on. Um, so um, in the Force 2020 uh, meeting, we had just had uh, Bill Rexdale talking about what do you need to do to uh, make a good Zoom presentation. And um, so he gathered all the information that is necessary from lighting, from programs that you want to do. And uh, this is also something that we might very well exchange. And um, so, so even that could be an idea um, where one person uh, yeah, can explain to the others uh, uh, what's going on. So and then, of course, um, you might want to have an implementation for your specific system. And uh, we embrace the difference between all the four systems uh, by giving uh, several implementations. So whoever wants to contribute something uh, with his spe specific system, he's uh, invited to uh, provide implementation for his system. So, And luckily, if a popular system uh, is the one you, you use, then you will find maybe a MakeRisp implementation very easily, or a NoForce implementation, or an ESP32 implementation of the general idea. And then you get the complete picture. Yeah? You get the description of the idea. You understand how the program works in uh, general, using pseudocode and generic force. You get all the background information, and you get a specific implementation for the system that you want to use, that you might want, uh, can you might use as it is, or you go ahead and says, um, I don't like this. I optimize the, the source code uh, for for the system because uh, I can program much better than all the others, um, and then you're asked to contribute, of course, your optimization. Yeah. Also. It could be that you have some old project uh, where you never be able to finish it. Um, so you can at least start describing the idea. Uh, don't provide a specific implementation for, for a uh, certain system, uh, but just uh, uh, provide and uh, contribute what you have. And then we can go ahead and uh, maybe someone picks over. So it's not uh, actually that we want to have ownership of ideas. Uh, but we want to have a collaboration. So if you um, uh, have an idea and uh, or see an idea and you know how to improve it, then of course it's reasonable that you contribute and uh, provide the uh, thing. Uh, one word, we have other uh, sites that do library sharing, like the force.net or um, the force scientific library project or whatever. It's a different approach because we don't put the algorithm and the programs in the center of our focus, uh, of our um, uh, view, but um, the idea. Uh, so it's more uh, that we have a textbook that we write where we you describe things. Okay. And um, yeah, so that's the, actually the aim of the project. Um, we have many, many different force systems that are more or less incompatible. And um, uh, you have to be expert in uh, several of them to actually port programs back and forth or be a standard programmer. Then you can do this with force pro standard programs. Uh, but we really want to uh, share ideas uh, and have specific implementations for the small 
uh, force systems and um, uh, also uh, for larger force systems or for the fat force systems. Um, so uh, everything is included. We embrace all uh, systems and see how we can go ahead. So there's uh, a project uh, web page uh, called projectforceworks.github.io. So all the data is currently hosted at GitHub. And um, uh, uh, there's also a GitHub repository that you can do, which summarizes, the web page summarizes what I've been talking about here right now. Uh, so you get the idea and you can also go ahead and browse uh, uh, to uh, specific um, uh, ideas that we've described. So, for example, in the communication protocol section, there is uh, a section on I2C uh, and, um, uh, which explains the idea, which explains uh, how the protocol works and um, uh, gives uh, uh, pseudocode and generic force implementation and with bit banging and uh, then also specific implementations on the GD32 or the MSP430 and where we have other force here you can just go ahead and make a contribution and say okay I've read the idea I do it uh, in, in a similar way so um, I can contribute my implementation there as well for others to share. Right. Um, yeah, that's what I already talked about. Yeah, uh, um, uh, we have a template uh, that describes this. So uh, if you say, okay, I want to start to also describe an idea, um, then you can follow the templates uh, template, and it goes uh, ahead and gives you some structure. Uh, yeah, and you see it here. So describe the pro uh, the problem, uh, explain how to use it. Uh, then um, um, yeah give uh, an explanation of the algorithm, pseudocode, generic force, uh, so the background information. And then uh, if you have a preferred force system, then just go ahead and provide also a specific implementation there. Right. And uh, so what uh, ideas do we already have? We've seen uh, I2C. Um, there's SPI as communication protocol. Um, but then uh, we also started doing data structures. Um, I have in mind a sequence of uh, uh, ongoing, growing uh, uh, data structure uh, ideas to describe. So we have currently have a primitive circular buffer, a circular buffer with just one pointer. Then, of course, there could be a circular buffer with two pointers and so on. We have a bit array where we are able to address individual bits in an array. Uh, that's on the data structure uh, part. And then we have uh, um, uh, algorithms, uh, random generators, and Pilipop uh, uh, that uh, we uh, can show. So please have a look at these ideas so you get an idea of how to describe these things. And then we thought there's also the necessity for system software. So uh, the dump utility started out as being uh, a very simple idea. We can also see this as an example, how we think uh, things uh, and ideas uh, are best explained. And uh, we have a growing number of disassemblers uh, for different things. Um, yeah, you best start with uh, the template. And that's also um, the idea. What could you, in principle, contribute? Uh, yeah, uh, maybe you have string handling features, a string stack, data structures. You have more communication protocols uh, for one wire, for USB, or different memory interfaces. Uh, uh, you can access smart uh, paper, uh, uh, e-paper displays, uh, or whatever uh, temperature sensors, uh, or, or whatever. Then, um, yeah, why not uh, go ahead and uh, describe how to do it uh, so that others can actually learn from, from it. Yeah, or other programmer tools uh, like a serial terminal uh, with uh, maybe intelligent uh, uh, additional functionality. And then we also have the applications. We talked about games uh, as the uh, motor for uh, getting into uh, force uh, earlier this day. We talked about robotics uh, in earlier meetings uh, or data loggers or whatever applications where you say okay that's uh, something i it, it's good educational uh, to explain how to do them and then provide the appropriate general and specific implementation right so if you say well then i, I think i have something and how can i uh, actually uh, contribute 
yeah then uh, yeah maybe you go with uh, the template have a look at what we say so it's not just the headlines but also describes a little bit what uh, you might want to put in there you can read the dump example uh, to see uh, how things uh, can be done in uh, in, uh, in in the, in the real uh, way and then you might look at uh, some other examples, uh, not focusing on the idea itself, but on the structure uh, that you use. Yeah? And uh, to make it easy, um, if you have something, then get in contact with us. Uh, uh, email addresses follow uh, on, the, on the last slide. Um, yeah? And just send us our code uh, in the structure that we, we have following the template. And then uh, we will uh, go into discussion with you and uh, uh, see that it will make it work in there. Um, if you say, oh, yeah, I want to get more close uh, to the group and uh, also contribute completely on my own, uh, then uh, uh, you would uh, become a member of the uh, project, the Fourth Works organization, how it's called in uh, GitHub terminology. And uh, then you have to be have to have some knowledge on Git, the version control system, and then um, you can clone the environment, uh, do your additions, and then contribute appropriately. Right. Um, so that brings me to my conclusion. So in our last very great uh, talk with Charles Moore, uh, it became clear: force is a personal development environment. And that's the reason why we have many incompatible dialects. Yeah? So if you start explaining some technique, uh, it's very normal that two or three other guys uh, stand up and say, no, in my system, I do it this way. And um, uh, we don't want to uh, uh, have this uh, as uh, something that separates us, but something that unites us. And so we embrace that difference. And we try to standardize uh, uh, four systems, and that's good for uh, what it's worth. Uh, if you have standard systems, then uh, you can port programs back and forth. So that's nice. Uh, but if you don't, uh, then uh, you have to see that um, uh, it's much more difficult to port programs. And uh, so it's much better to exchange ideas there. And so, yeah, that's. Uh, uh, our way, uh, we want to uh, accept the difference and embrace them and make the best out of it. Um, so we should not uh, hesitate to share our ideas because the, all the others have uh, incompatible systems or be, behave, they, that behave in a different way. Um, let's share our ideas, explain them to the others. Uh, uh, also in the spirit of uh, this is some kind of force philosophy and technology conservation that we do um, and we think our idea with this project force works is a try uh, to get something that might also attract uh, certain kind of younger people that really want to understand that just are not satisfied with clickety click and collecting um, components uh, from different sites and then once uh, the program compiles, they're happy, but really want to understand what's going on. And we can give them uh, a way to, to also do that. So I would say go forth and uh, let's uh, uh, contribute to this uh, project. Right. So here are the addresses uh, uh, whom you might want to contact uh, if you want to contribute uh, to the project. That's it uh, for the presentation, and I hope we have a good uh, question and answer discussion, um, which we need to do in separate because one uh, conference cannot hear the questions from the other, but I will try to collect them from both sides and uh, maybe in the fourth tagung, Gerald can just collect them and then uh, we uh, do them. So that's all new as well. How do this uh, with uh, two conferences in the end, uh, um, and uh, how we do uh, questions from both sides. But I'm open uh, for questions, and I have microphone open on both conferences, so I could hear both. But this one. Den Link hätte ich gerne noch mal Any zu GitHub. Questions. Uh, can you please share the link, Uli? <laughs>
Der hört uns nicht. Oh ja, ich sehe das. Der Link zu GitHub. Ja, yeah, so that's uh, so Christian uh, says, uh, yeah, that's natural. Languages evolve. Ja, aber den Link können wir auch nachher fragen, Michael. Der wird ja jetzt nicht schlecht werden in der Zwischenzeit. Ich schaue mal kurz, ob ich den finde. Our opinion. We don't want anyone to uh, stop. Uh, der Link ist bei uns im Chat and uh, tweaking his system that's valuable danke erich wunderbar but it also limits ich schon mal den uh, presenter code, haben uh, ja gebe ich dir accept and say no then let's share ideas and uh, yeah and then everyone uh, can have its dialect and that's fine Okay, gibt es noch Fragen right. an den Uli? So, uh, maybe uh, a question from the Forsttagung or... Uh, uh, we, we had a question about the links, but we already answered there. it. No, I, at least I can't hear. Say, please say someone something, maybe I can't just hear you. <laughs> Martin? Vielleicht hörst du uns. Nee, du hörst uns. I can't hear you. Why is that? Nee. Das klappt Let's irgendwie see. nicht auf beiden gleichzeitig. Ah, okay. Now, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, please, if you have a first tagung has a question, then please just go ahead. Und? So, ja, oh. um, yeah. yeah. Or... Okay, so it doesn't seem yes. to be that, that there is a question in first tagung but maybe in first 2020. Ja, yeah. uh, that is uh, Ralf uh, Lundwall. You have to unmute and uh, then we get this. Michael, darf ich dich bitten, dein Mikrofon viel leiser zu drehen? Du bist so circa fünfmal so laut wie die anderen. Okay, uh, Danke. Ralf, we can't hear you in the moment. Uh, for a moment it, your mic was open, but now it's closed again. So. If you want to ask the question, then please unmute. Um, Uli, can you hear me still? Yeah. There's I a question from there Twitch right. I would like to relay. And it's yeah. uh, so part of the project is like Rosetta for Force dialects. I also yeah. concur with this question. Okay. So what right. do you have to say? So, yeah, that's right. There is a uh, question that actually came uh, in the chat on Twitch. Uh, that Jared just, just read to me and said, well, this project looks like Rosetta for Forth. And I would say, yes, that's what it is. Uh, during the discussion that we had, uh, Rosetta came up uh, again and again um, as being some uh, good uh, pl platform and some good idea to do this as well. And uh, yeah, so uh, in some sense, uh, it's uh, like this. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are there any questions in either of the channels? Uh, I would like to add on the question if I may. Yeah. So uh, is it also possible to, um, because you mentioned library websites like the force.net or uh, the library, uh, the, 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 the um, scientific library, is it also possible so for your understanding to develop them further on forceworks and then link to them or how do they interact with each other yeah so what uh, jared's question is uh, how do the other library sites uh, actually uh, would work with the project uh, so uh, don't, can you also develop on the other sites and then link or, or whatever and the idea is yes um, so uh, our focus is mainly on the description. So if you look at the force.net, um, then you get the names of libraries and you have the package manager to get this. And maybe you get a package, uh, you get a package description of what's going on. Um, but um, uh, it's not uh, in this extensive structure that you explain the ideas of what's going on. Uh, what the algorithm uh, uh, that is behind that actually how, how that works or links to the others. You can do this, of course, in a readme, but the idea is uh, that you uh, use the project Forceworks for this and then you link 
So wherever you can get this, uh, so one of the specific implementations could also be, yeah, just go ahead and use the uh, the force.net package manager to install that. That's that's completely fine. Or it could also be just some uh, uh, GitHub repository that you link or some other site. Maybe you want to uh, contribute parts of a larger project, then of course you would just uh, make a reference uh, to it. So I, I actually see this hand in hand and my intention is uh, for the data structures, I also want to provide libraries on um, the force.net. So um, actually, um, um, yeah, so, so, so that you can go ahead and uh, load the appropriate implementation by the package manager. Or so the, 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 code con the code can live on GitHub, the description could be on Forceworks, and the download could be through the force.net. So it all melts together nicely. Okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah, so Willem, Willem is saying something. Uh, sorry, Willem. Yeah, so Willem says uh, we can also share different library managers and uh, be open on that part. Um, and that's actually what we want. So uh, I think this could really uh, extend to uh, to all, all the others and uh, um, it's not to give up any way uh, and any site that you actually use. Um, but um, uh, as our focus is on exchanging the ideas, this might be uh, uh, a good way to start to, 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 to see this. And then you have the references to all the other uh, library or implementation or GitHub or, or whatever. Okay. And you, you can use them. Mm -hmm. Okay, Uli, if you don't mind, I think we have to go on with the force program. Is right, okay for I think you? so. Um, uh, so Jared just t told me uh, that's uh, uh, that's it uh, on the force Gesellschaft side. So I would say thank you very much for uh, 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 listening to my talk. And it's an experiment whether we can do a talk and two conferences at the same time. Um, I'm often, uh, always open for experiments, and I learned a lot uh, in. Uh, yeah, uh, about synchronicity and things like this. <laughs> so very, very, thank you very much. And I will join Force Tagung also uh, uh, in just a moment. Okay, and, thank you uh, very much, Uli. Yeah. Uh, thank you.